Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to reading your comments. ba ba doop ba 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 ya be ba be ba da doop What?! Mark! Quick! Make nom noms! Okay! Oh god! Can you tell me, Mark, why have you been in a gay club before? Nothing against gay people, though, otherwise I would have said something against myself. LMAO! Ha 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 ha! Well, first off, and I've said this before, I'm not gay. And that's not really anything to that, I'm just not that thing that that is. And a lot of people are probably gonna be disappointed because no, Jack and I didn't form a beautiful, blossoming relationship while he was here. We hung out, and we had a lot of fun uh, going around LA and making a few videos here and there. But, as far as the gay club thing goes, I'm not a club type person. And this was all back in college anyway. And I had a lot of friends that were gay. And they wanted to go out, so we just ended up going to gay clubs because uh, the typical club is kind of a douchey experience, and a gay club is actually more interesting, and I got a lot of free drinks, so it worked out great for me. Hooray! Hey Mark, have you played Five Nights at Sonic's 1, 2, 3, and 4? No, I have not, because frankly, there's a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's fan games out there, and personally, I've kind of played them out. I'll play a few here and there every other week or so, but uh, as far as making it a regular thing to play all of them, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to just play the game because the name Five Nights is in there. I, I don't want to keep playing Five Nights at Freddy's games forever and ever. You know, I had a channel before Five Nights at Freddy's came out, and I have a channel now. Not that I don't like it anymore, it's just that it doesn't need to perpetuate every single thing that I do. Say, which is more rage-inducing, Ross's Mario Maker levels or I Am Bread? I Am Bread by a long shot. Actually, maybe not by a long shot, but by a considerable margin. There was just something about I Am Bread and its stupid, asinine control scheme that just was built to make you angry. There was nothing happy in that game. It was all just a landscape of death and destruction in my mind. I never want to go back to it ever, ever again, and I did break controller, so no, it's bad for me. I will die of another heart attack. Damn it! No! Mark, I'm really mad at this girl because of something she said to me. Any advice? Yeah, I got hella tight advice. Yo, relationship advice master Markiplier here to tell you I have no idea what she said, but you probably deserved it. <laughs> you probably- Hey, relationship advice master Markiplier here, back again. I killed the other version of me from an alternate dimension that gave bad advice. And what you should do is not take what she says at face value. No matter how much you may or may not deserve it, just go on knowing that you are epic. Headbutts, everybody! <laughs> Relationship advice Markiplier is here to stay. So, anyone that wants bad advice, here we go! Mark, what's wrong with Jack? Oh, so many things. Let me list the ways he is dumb. Irish... <laughs> He's a delight, I'm sorry. Mark, do you like D's nuts? HA! Got <laughs> How was your week with Jack and going to Disneyland? It was great! I loved it. Uh, Jack has only been in America for conventions, so this was like the first time that he's just uh, been over here to hang out. And it was totally platonic and nothing happened. At all. Stop the fan fiction! No, but it was cool. It, you know, I, I haven't had a chance to actually hang out with Jack and just kind of talk to him on a normal basis. You know, we play games together and we're gonna play more games, you know, Gmod and uh, Grand Theft Auto are coming soon, but, you know, it was just nice to be able to hang out on back porch because uh, just last night we had um, Aaron and Susie and Ross and Holly and Barry was over and then Kevin and his new girlfriend and, uh, there was, you know, Jack and Felix were there, and, and we were all just able to hang out on the back porch and just eat snacks and shoot the shit and just talk with each other, which is, oddly enough, a rare occurrence in this weird world of YouTube where we don't get to interact with each other all that much. You know, we, we, we just play games and we make videos and that's cool and all, but, you know, it's nice to have some humanity to the relationships, you know. It, it's really fun to see these guys who I consider my good friends in a capacity where we're all together. Now, that's not saying. I, I see the Game Grumps all the time, and they're super cool, but I'm talking like Felix, 
and Jack being over at my house, and we're just sitting on my porch and looking out at the city and, and just talking about things. And uh, that's a really good experience, so that's cool. I miss drunk Minecraft and Bob and Wade. Bring that bit back, please. Well, unfortunately, I can't. I'll die. As I said in a previous reading your comments video, if I drink again, I'll die. Because when I drank before, I almost died. And so if we did that again, I would die. So I, I, I don't want to die. So we're going to just move on. And so I don't die. Makes sense. See the other video for a more thorough explanation than that. Epic Mar- Ow. Frick. Have you even played an instrument? P.S. Mine is trumpet. So's mine! Do 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 Why was Mark at a gay strip club? Now that's just taking things out of context. Relationship Mark advice guy here. Don't go to strip clubs if you're looking for a relationship and definitely don't go to gay strip clubs if you want your reputation on the internet to be anything but solid. Wait a minute. Hang on here. What's up? Relationship Markiplier advice guy number three. The other two guys died because they're dead and I got rid of them. So what I'm saying is I'm not being defensive about anything here. I, d d I went to a gay club, not a gay strip club. Want to be very clear about that. Ha ha he What's up guys? Markiplier relationship advice version 4 from the 4th dimension here to tell you that the previous three were an idiot. Don't listen to anything that a guy looks like this says because it's terrible advice for anything. Don't listen to anyone named Markiplier in any capacity. And if you see a Wilford Wharf stash in anywhere near you, run as fast as you can. Just run and don't look back. What is the worst thing that ever happened to you? And I need to say something. Save up, see Okay, wow, 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 wee, wow. Uh, the worst thing that ever happened to me, I would guess, would be the tumor that I had. I had a ganglioneuroma the size of my fist in my left adrenal gland. If that was too much personal information, too bad! It's bad relationship advice mark number five! The other four are dead! They died! They drank! And then they died! Cause that's what happens to Markiplier! And you didn't listen! I told you not to listen to my advice! It's bad! So, yeah, I had a tumor. And, uh, uh I told this story many times, but I had a tumor, and, uh, it was right before I did YouTube. And, uh, getting that out was a bitch, because it was very painful, and not fun at all, and also, like, I was in the back end of a bad relationship, and, like, I lost my job, and it was just a whole bunch of bad things happening all at once. But hey, I'm here now and happy! I'm happy, damn it! I'm happy, damn it! Your meow video gave me a terminal illness. Short people like you are the reason communism exists. Your forehead is so large it's merging into the five head range. If I were locked in a room with you, Hitler, and Donald Trump, and I had a gun with only two bullets, I'd shoot you twice. Your ass must get jealous of all the shit that comes out of your mouth. I hope you step on a Lego without shoes or socks on. May all your bacon burn! I'd love to slap you, but that's animal abuse. You're as useless as a traffic light in GTA. I will be adding one new insult to each new reading your comments video until mine is read regardless of how long my comment grows over time. That's commitment right there. But two can play at this game. You know, it's amazing how much ugly you've managed to cram into a single face. Scientists are trying to study it, but they haven't been able to make a camera strong enough to survive looking at you. But hey, I can only imagine that you were blessed with equal amounts of looks and smarts, so thank you personally for keeping your head shoved so far up your own ass that we don't have to hear or see from you ever again. Thanks. Have a nice day. It's all good fun, people. I'm not insulted by this, and I bet they're not insulted by me, so. <laughs> Boom! Relationship advice mark- I don't know what the boom is, but that's just me coming in from another dimension. Don't ask questions or else I'll have to get rid of me too. I don't want to real- Damn it, boom! Relationship advice mark number seven here. Those other guys were morons. Don't listen to any- Wait. Oh no, I'm four! Boom! Relationship- The final relationship- It's my final form. Relationship advice mark number eight. I'm an idiot. Mark, I plan on getting a tattoo with all my fave YouTubers, and I would love to have you a part of it, so is it okay if I use your pink mustache or do you prefer something different? Please tell me, hope, tell me. Smile. That's totally fine. If you want to get a tattoo, that's your business, and, and you're welcome to use anything. You could put my face on your body if you wanted to. That's time to never more Boom! Relationship advice number nine, Mark, here. Uh, yeah, you can get a tattoo of whatever you'd like, you know, don't let me stop you. I mean, personally, 
There's only one tattoo that I'd ever get, and it's the same tattoo that my dad got uh, a few years before he died. Uh, it, it was a tattoo of, like, he was very patriotic, so he had, like, the big American flag with an eagle soaring over it, and it said, honor, duty, and courage. So, I don't want to get a tattoo right now, because I, I don't feel the need to, but if I were to ever get a tattoo, it would be... You know, that exact tattoo. I want it, like, exactly the same way just to commemorate my dad and uh, the influence that he had on my life. So feel free to get whatever tattoos you want. If you want to get a tattoo, that's your choice, and I got no problem with it. So uh, best of luck to you, and I'm honored that you would pick me to be a part of that. All right, so that was the train wreck of reading your comments number whatever. I don't even know what number it is at this point, but hey! Maybe they'll continue. So thank you everybody so much for watching and thank you for submitting your comments. Remember, if you want yours read, write it down in the comments section below. And thank you everybody so much for watching. I have fun reading through these and I have fun making them, so I hope you have fun watching them. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye